okay my hair is just what it is okay okay hey everyone welcome to my channel it's Rebecca we are doing September favorites oh my gosh oh my gosh we made it through the month um I was not looking forward to September and it turned out okay aside from actually you know what it <laughs> September sucked sorry I will address that later. For those of you who are new here, I shan't bog down with the dreary of my personal life, but a year ago, September, my dad passed away and I had shared a update in August uh, of life and such, and so many of you were so sweet and kind, and even on the videos throughout September were just commenting with words of encouragement and support and just saying, hey Rebecca, we're, I'm thinking of you and I know this is a hard month. And I'm just like, you guys are so amazing. So um, thank you. And I love October, um, I just do. And so last October was a little bit of a bummer for me. So I think I'm gonna try to make this year better and more October-y. I really wasn't into my usual Halloween stuff and and this year I did I think I'm gonna do some looks so let me know if you have any ideas for some makeup costume things I've done you know Effie Trinket I've done uh, Betty Boop I've done the Sanderson sisters um, from Hocus Pocus so anyway let's talk about our sponsor today Ana Luisa, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. They have sent me more glorious jewelry. They want me to tell you all about them because if you're not familiar, which you probably are, because I know so many creators in sort of my genre and people I watch, which means you probably watch them too, are all talking about Ana Luisa. And I think it's amazing because what that means is that more people will understand the value of carbon neutral jewelry and that's what they are all about. They sent me these little earrings and they are, normally I'm all about like a big statement or something and I have to say, these earrings are dainty, they are delightful, <laughs> and I really don't even have to think about them. And they have so many cute styles in this kind of huggy style. Um, I've got this celestial little duo, which is actually mismatched on purpose, and I love it. And then I've got these studs that are snakes, and they're so, they're just, I don't, you know. It's like, hi, look at me, I'm, I'm trying to be uh, exotic and unpredictable, but also <laughs> at the same time, very subtle, and you know. So yeah, so it's, it's it, they're beautiful. They are made in the USA. They use all uh, previously sourced materials and nothing has been, yeah, nothing has been mined. Nothing has had to be uh, worked on by a small child. Um, so it's all ethical. It's, it's ethically sourced and it's ethically created and they have very affordable pieces. So please check them out and let them know that you appreciate their support for my channel. Let's talk skincare quickly. I just have a couple items. Beauty Pie was sort of my discovery for the month of September and end of summer, and I am loving their makeup and their skincare. And I do have a code for them so if you haven't checked them out, please do so. Also, they have this Beauty Pie Plus. So if you're already a member, you can sign up for Plus and then you get more spending breadth, if you will. I'll, uh, I'll leave links so that you can see the information because their site explains it so much better than I do. But the two standout products that they sent me that I've been using loyally are the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Mist and then this Hyaluronic Acid, Triple Hyaluronic, Triple Hyaluronic Deep Moisture Cream that's like a gel. So these two work so well together. You always want to put any type of hyaluronic products onto damp skin, whether you've misted with something like this or this, whether you've just 
washed your face and haven't really towel dried completely or you're using another essence. So just, you know, seal in that moisture or I should say have moisture on your skin for the product to attract more moisture. And this uh, is just beautiful. It's fragrance free. Both are fragrance free and they're full of ceramides, hyaluronic acid, um, and that your skin will just love. And they're very affordable despite their luxury appearance. So they make me happy. So then my face, I'm wearing a lot of my favorites. I tried to do that for you because I just, that's kind of how I, I just try to do that. I am actually wearing the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation and I, I forgot how much I loved this. Um, and I think it's because I tried the Lawless and I tried other foundations this uh, month, which I have liked all of them, but that Urban Decay Hydromaniac, man, if you are heading into these months that are like, even if it's the temperatures just drop like 10 degrees, I can feel it. I can feel it in my skin and uh, that this, this foundation I just love. So I am, I wasn't going to add it. I, or I wasn't going to include it in my favorites this month. And I'm like, well, why not? I'm wearing it and it's gorgeous. Okay. And another item that we talked about when I did the Joa full face of one brand and Joa is available at CVS. They also have their own website. I want to say kind of a short, like, I'm sorry if some of the products that maybe I featured that I've used a long time are hard to find online. I think every CVS in person is different. The Joa website even has, I think they're launching new products. I think if I was using something and there's only like two shades left or you can't find it, it's because they phased it out and they're coming up with something else, which is a bummer, but also exciting because I think you know, I think they're gonna do something good. But new and available <laughs> is this Crystal Glow Luminizer Stick, and it is a tinted luminizer stick. So it's not like a highlighter. Um, this one in Allure, Best of Beauty for 2021. I have shade, help me out, vanilla. And it's like a stick BB cream. So it's not um, it's not a ton of coverage. If you don't like stick formulas because it's either they're kind of matte or kind of cakey or something, this is a very unusual formula. It's not like other sticks because it's just a more sheer formula and it's very forgiving. It comes with a brush that I kind of don't use, but that's sort of the, the point is that it's just kind of a quick on the go thing and it adds that glass skin. Yeah, I was so, okay, I just need to take a little sidebar here and say how much I enjoyed and appreciated your appreciation for my ridiculous humor in my highlighter video with the sheen scale. I've been calling it the sheenometer and the sheen scale, so I don't know, maybe I need to like settle on just one term, but I kind of like saying both of them. <laughs> Um, but I, I'll link that video if you haven't seen it yet. So my favorite drugstore highlighters in various intensities. Okay. And so the Catrice is very Martin Sheen and just, it's just this gorgeous, it's just this gorgeous combination of like, oh, look, it's highlighter. It's, you know, you can see the shine and how it's like, ooh, on your face, but it isn't chunky or glittery. And this is the Supreme Rose Dr Beam is the shade and it's their more than glow highlighter. So it looks really intense in the pan. And then it's just, ugh, I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful highlighter. So it looks a little icy, looks a little, this one, you know, they do have other shades. So you might find one that might suit your tone, but I think this suits me great. Yeah. And then my next highlighter, when I tried Vive Cosmetics from the UK, Jamie Genevieve, her brand, oh, I love so many of those products. Her stuff is beautiful. And this uh, Skin Do, this is actually, I have, I have both, <laughs> I have a lot of this on right now. And I was a 
finally I, I used my brain and I put it on on top of my other products and not before my foundation like I did with my video because I was thinking it was like the Skin Nova. It's not. I mean, I guess it could be, but anyway, it just, it really wants to be on top of powders or just with cream. It's a very similar tone to the Catrice, but maybe a little more gold. It only comes in one shade. It has almost a, a tackiness to it. I don't, I feel like it fades, like it doesn't, see it's not very intense on my hand. Um, it looks more metallic in the tube or, you know, when you first spread it, but, um, it's just, it's really nice and it is just to be, it's supposed to be moisturizing and you can put it on your eyes and your lips and wherever you want it and it's just gorgeous, so. And I used this Ilamasqua Sculpt, which was from Skin Store and oh, this is so good. And you guys, I have a discount for Skin Store, so I will be sure that's in the description box. Check it out if you head over there to shop. And by the way, you should totally check. They have, um, they have gift with purchase. They have, they're kind of like an online department store. Uh, they're focused, uh, they have skincare, high end, um, affordable. It, it, yeah. So Ilan Moskwa is very popular for their, um, site. And I have the get sculpt gel, sorry gel sculpt in silhouette. This is a, oh, it's like a cooling stick gel contour. Oh, and it just, it feels so good. It blends and you can really, you can build the shade or just, so I'm wearing that too. And I love this cause I think it's just a unique product. The Yoma Beauty, oh, this brow gel of theirs. I have it in shade three. I got it off Beautylish. Um, it's, it's so good. Um, I am wearing it and I love it because it really, it thickens the eyebrows, you know, it like really makes it look like you're adding hairs, <laughs> but it's also this shade is a more cool tone. It's just got a lot more kind of oomph if you want a darker brow. I'm kind of trying to do a stronger brow. Um, for fall, I feel like my face has been a little bit washed out and like I'll take a selfie and then I'll just be like, where are my eyebrows? Um, so I love this Yoma brow. It's so good. It's so good. One more Joa and then I've got one more thing to say. Okay, so this is the Joa La Bam Balm and I got it in teeny bikini and I'm wearing it. I love this. Uh, it is just, I love this lipstick. It's like a very a very pigmented lip balm. And if you want kind of nude shades that just kind of, you know, I've got a little bit of a 90s thing going on, right? Oh, I can, <laughs> I think my upper lip, I was like, is it sweaty? No, it's highlighter. But these are so good from Joa. So don't stop making these Joa. I'm liking them now more than um, the liquid lips or something, I'm, I'm just kind of liking I feel dry, I feel dry. So everything I wanna wear is like, I want, I want moisture. So feel free to check out the Ana Luisa link. And of course, um, check out my link I have in the description box. And of course their website, maybe you wanna get some gifts for girlfriends or just um, a few new pieces of jewelry for yourself to treat. So yes. All right, I wanted to just finish this video with a quick word. Um, I actually, I didn't really include it because I don't think it's available, but I'm wearing my Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace, and this is the collaboration Mel Thompson did with them. By far one of my favorite palettes of all time. It's, you think, oh, I don't know, pink, purple, really? Oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. The shades are phenomenal and unique. The, the way it blends, it truly. I mean, I, I can talk about like, Oh, this BH Cosmetic Shadow did a good job blending, you know, but I mean, these are extraordinary shadows. They truly are. And Mel, if some of you, most of you are aware that Mel passed away unexpectedly uh, in September, a week or so ago, and it has just really kind of smacked us all in the face. 
And I can't even imagine what her family is feeling. Her husband and her children, her mom, those close to her, the creators that have known her personally. I only knew her through the screen. She was gorgeous, talented, a friend of Wayne Goss, a friend of so many. And so I thought in her honor, I would wear my Tiny Marvels palette and mention her. And I just, I'm going to put the link of the GoFundMe that Kelsey Biriana J shared, or I should say established for the family of Mel. This is the only legitimate GoFundMe. If anyone else talks about a GoFundMe and it's not this one, don't, don't give it. Don't, don't share it. Don't contribute, you know, because this is the only one. And um, I just have to say, I was shocked because, you know, you feel like this is your community and it's, you sort of take the loss of someone, even if you don't hardly know them, but you just, it, it, it affects you so personally. We've all had loss. We've all known grief. And so when we feel it again, regardless of its intensity or its proximity, it, it triggers through us. And I, I saw it on the People website. I saw it on E! I saw it on um, the Daily Mail. Like I was, I, 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 I mean, Mel was amazing and she was connected to so many people like Lisa Eldridge and Wayne Goss. And you know, you think, oh, well she only, she had like a hundred thousand subscribers or whatever. You know, we always talk in numbers and it's so stupid because her impact was ginormous. And so just remember that, that you, you who are watching this make a difference. And no matter Instagram followers, YouTube numbers, whatever, and I remind myself of this too, it doesn't matter. And it's how, it's, it's how you are um, as a person, how you treat other people and how you value the ones that are most precious to you. And I think Mel was such a good example for all that. I mean, that is just, I, I can't think of anything but kindness and sweetness when I think of her. And I've recommended her products in videos. You guys have probably found her because of a product I mentioned. And I said, oh, she's just the sweetest girl. You've got to watch. And I will always, I will pull those products out regardless of their price tag and I am gonna use them with joy. One of them being the YSL all over powder. Her legacy is more than just makeup, but I just, I gotta say that it does, it does uh, warm my heart. And I, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to uh, chime in with my condolences and to make aware of the GoFundMe for you. And that is that, and I will leave on a more maybe a somber note but also just a thank you and thanks everyone because you've been great for me and we can hold each other up and be good to each other and yeah so <laughs> alrighty folks take care look after yourselves I'll see you next time bye